Have you ever tried to share something important from Safari on your iPhone only to hit a wall? It can be frustrating when you can't get the URL of the page you're on. If that's you, stick around because today we're diving into how to get the URL when sharing via the context menu in Safari. I totally understand your struggle. Many developers face this issue when trying to create a seamless sharing experience. You're not alone in this, and it's a common hurdle in iOS development. Let's break down the specific scenario you're dealing with. You want to share selected content from a web page in Safari, but you're only getting plain text and not the URL. Sound familiar? Let's explore how to solve this. So what's happening here? When you create a share extension, you expect to receive both the selected content and the web page URL. However, it seems like you're only getting the plain text representation. Let's dig into the details of your setup. And don't go anywhere. At the end of this video, I'll share a pro tip that can help you enhance your share extension even further. To retrieve the URL of the web page when sharing content via the share extension, the user should first ensure that the JavaScript pre-processing file is correctly set up. This file will be responsible for passing the URL back to the extension. Next, the user should check the activation rules in the info.plist file. It's important to confirm that the extension supports both text and web URLs. After confirming the setup, the user should implement the logic in the viewDidLoad method of the extension. This is where the input items will be processed to extract the selected content and the web page URL. Finally, the user should test the extension by sharing content from Safari. They can check the logs or the server to confirm that both the selected content and the web page URL are being sent correctly. Fun fact, did you know that the first web browser was created in 1990? It was called World Wide Web and it didn't even have a graphical interface. We've come a long way since then. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach shared by another user highlights that achieving the exact flow you want in iOS is not possible. When using the context menu in Safari, your extension will only receive the selected text, not the web page URL. However, if the user taps the share icon at the bottom of Safari instead, the extension can access both the URL and the selected text. This is because the pre-processing JavaScript runs in this scenario. They suggest not enabling text support if your extension's main purpose is to share URLs. The user provided a code snippet for the JavaScript file that runs when the share icon is used. This code captures both the URL and the selected text, allowing for a more complete sharing experience. Here's that pro tip I promised. Always test your share extension with different types of content. This will help you identify any issues and ensure a smooth user experience. And there you have it. With these steps, you should be able to get the URL when sharing content from Safari. If you found this video helpful, please hit the subscribe button for more tips and tricks. And remember, testing is key to success.